Okay, so I've been working on the Mark 7 some more. Um, it's almost finished. I've been kind of playing with the paint. Um, I've been working on the bevel here along the faceplate. It's not something that's on the actual original um, helmet, but I'm liking the way it looks. It's a lot more cleaner looking than just having a square edge right along the edge there. So, but anyways, uh, to my point, uh, faceplate hinges. Um, I've been working on this uh, since this morning, and um, these are the original sets from my war machine. Uh, as you can see, they're pretty close as far as where they go. Um, the holes there and holes here and here. Uh, this one's a little bit longer, and I think this one's a, just a tad bit longer. Uh, the mount points, though, are different. Uh, this was the original plate that went right about there in the war machine, and you can see this is spread out more. So uh, definitely a wider um, area for, for the hinge. So uh, I've been working on uh, doing this. I'm going to be doing a plastic set. Uh, which I prototype out of usually um, River made trash cans. So, um, and I'll try and sh show you guys that, that step as I go through that. Um, but anyways, so basically to do this, I took the edge of the, the face plate and cut it out along the edge, as you can see there. And then, uh, so that's basically what you're trying to, to uh, move. It's just that section there, up and over the, the helmet. So, um, Basically, it's a lot of position that you can see. I kind of went through and, and if I, yeah, there you go. Uh, a couple holes in there from where I just positioned it in different spots. Tried different pieces of paper. Uh, made it longer or shorter depending on where the travel needed to go. Um, the biggest problem is this corner right here. Making sure that this edge and this edge. And you want the, these edges to go as close as possible uh, on the hinge. Just so it looks cleaner and you get more of a better uh, positioning. So... Uh, I'll be cutting these out or taking this, this apart and using these as templates to uh, create um, plastic hinges and then eventually just like this aluminum hinges here. So, um, and then I'll be using a Palali board, a little small micro um, programmable board uh, to do the, uh, the faceplate opening and closing and to turn on the lights uh, when it, it is closed and then when it opens up the lights will turn off. So. Um, so just an update, if you guys have any questions, let me know. As I said, for this is basically placing fulcrum points, figuring out where it goes. Uh, it takes a little bit of uh, geometry knowledge, and uh, just trying to figure out what works best. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Thanks.